Hi guys, this is Sarah from the Savvy Professor, and in today's video, we'll talk about how to check if XMP is enabled. Watch this video until the end to learn various ways you can check your XMP speed and timings. Here are the steps. Check the BIOS. Input the BIOS settings on your device. Check the XMP option. See whether XMP is enabled on your device. Operating System On Windows, go to the Task Manager. Select the Performance tab. Tap on the Memory sub-tab. Check the speeds the memory is running on. If the memory speed is similar to the rated speed and timings, then XMP is enabled. Benchmarking to benchmark, you can use tools that enable you to test whether your memory is running at the set speeds and timings. How to enable XMP Before enabling XMP on your device, check the existing speed and time settings on your memory. Do this. On Windows, go to Settings. Select Task Manager to open it. Tap on the More Details button. On the Extended System, click on the Performance tab. By clicking on the Performance tab, you'll see the Memory section. On the bottom right, you'll see the current memory speed in megahertz. To enable XMP from BIOS, do this. Reboot your device. Wait for the splash screen to display a logo or graphics of your motherboard manufacturer. At the bottom of your screen, you'll see the Enter BIOS button with instructions to do it. Click on the Delete or Escape or any function key. Check for XMP settings. Enable your XMP memory settings. Go back to your BIOS settings and check for Save and Exit buttons. Review the new speed and timings from your task manager. Some memory kits are different from others, so enabling XMP may be slightly different in different devices. Is it advisable to enable XMP? Yes, enabling XMP on your computer boosts memory performance. It's considered a safe memory overlock and shouldn't harm your device. It is, however, not mandatory, and your computer can run perfectly fine in its factory settings. So, there you have it. You can use the three steps to check if XMP is enabled. You can also enable it in the steps mentioned in this video. Thanks for watching. Till next time.